हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम लोकेश टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू आंसर क्वेश्चन ऑफ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स इन एन इंटरव्यू बिफोर दैट आई लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई एम पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट विद स्पेशलाइजेशन ऑफ हिट पॉन इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम नागपुर यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई एम करंटली वर्किंग एज अ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन एन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज आई लव टू लर्न एंड स्प्रेड नॉलेज इंटरव्यूज आर इसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस वेदर इट इज फॉर जॉब और फॉर हायर स्टडीज In many professions, it is very important to sharpen their technical skills. This video will be helpful for these people also, as it will refine their basic knowledge about fluid and its characteristics. So today, let's start with this top interview questions about fluid mechanics. The first question interviewer will ask is why study of fluid mechanics is important. You have to answer this question with the help of application and examples. you can answer this as the knowledge and understanding of basic principle and concepts of fluid mechanics are essential to analyze any system in which fluid is the working medium the design of all means of transportation requires application of principles of fluid mechanics and it includes subsonic and supersonic aircrafts surface ships submarines and automobiles In recent years automobile manufacturers have given more consideration to aerodynamic designs the aerodynamic and fluid dynamic considerations are very crucial for the designers of racing cars and boats the design of all types of fluid machinery including pump fans blowers compressors turbines clearly requires knowledge of the basic principles of fluid mechanics lubrication is an application of considerable importance in fluid mechanics heating and ventilation system for private homes and large office buildings and the design of pipeline systems are further examples of technical problems areas requiring knowledge of fluid mechanics the circulatory system of body is essentially a fluid system it is not surprising that the design of blood substitutes artificial hearts heart lung machines breathing aids and other such devices must rely on the basic principles of fluid mechanics The subject of fluid mechanics is of widespread importance both in our daily life as well as for the modern technologies. The next question arises is what is fluid or define fluid? A fluid is a substance that deforms continuously under the application of shear stress no matter how small the shear stress may be. Fluids are classified in liquids and gases. A gas always expands and occupies the entire volume of any container. In contrast the volume of liquid does not change. so that it cannot completely fill a large container the next question is what is newton's law of viscosity newton's law of viscosity states that the shear stress on fluid element layer is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain mathematically it is written as tau equals to mu du by dy where tau is shear stress and when du by dy are the rate of shear strain it is also called as velocity gradient and mu is the constant of proportionality called as coefficient of viscosity the next question arises is what is viscosity viscosity is defined as the property of fluid which offers resistance to the movement of one layer of fluid over another adjacent layer of the fluid it is denoted by mu the si unit of viscosity is pascal second but generally it is measured in poise or centipoise one poise equals to 0.1 pascal second and 1 centipoise equals to 0.01 poise the next type of viscosity is kinematic viscosity the kinematic viscosity is the ratio of absolute viscosity to the density of the fluid it is denoted by nu the si unit of kinematic viscosity is meter square per second but generally measured in stock or centi stock one stock equals to 10 raised to power minus 4 meter square per second while one centi stock equals to 10 raised to power minus 2 stock Next question is what are the various types of fluid so there are five types of fluid which are ideal fluid real fluid newtonian fluid non newtonian fluid and ideal plastic fluid next is what is newtonian fluid and non newtonian fluid so newtonian fluid is the fluid which obeys the newton's law of viscosity in which the viscosity does not change with the rate of deformation of shear stress the example of newtonian fluids are water kerosene and air The non-Newtonian fluid is which does not obey Newton's law of viscosity. In this fluid, viscosity change with the rate of deformation, 
or shear strain. The example for non-nutrient fluid are solution or suspensions and slurries, mud flows, polymer solutions and blood. The next question arises is what are the various types of fluid flow? Steady and unsteady flow, uniform and non-uniform flow, one, two and three dimensional flows, rotational and irrotational flows, laminar and turbulent flows and compressible and incompressible flow. We will discuss that these types of fluid flow as well as the types of fluid in detail in an upcoming video. Next question may be asked in interview are the what are the various types of fluid flow lines. So, there are three types of fluid flow lines that are path line, streamline and streak line. Path line is the path followed by fluid in motion while streamline is an imaginary line within the flow so that the tangent at any point on it indicates the velocity at that point. Streak line is a curve which gives an instantaneous picture of location of the fluid particle which have passed through the given point. The next question is what is Reynolds number? Reynolds number is the ratio of inertia force to the viscous force. It is given by R e equals to rho v l upon mu. While R e is representation of Reynolds number, rho is the density, v is the velocity of fluid, l is the characteristic length and mu is the viscosity of the fluid. For flow through a pipe, if the Reynolds number is less than 2000, the flow is laminar. If the Reynolds number is more than 4000, the flow is turbulent. While if the flow is in between 2000 to 4000, flow is in transient phase. These are top 10 questions the interviewer can ask about the fluid mechanics. This is the first part of our video lecture series for interview questions on fluid mechanics. For any queries and suggestion, please feel free to comment and all the best for your interview. Happy learning. Please subscribe my channel to get the upcoming videos. Thank you so much.